all right what's going on everybody this is chase fan number nine here and i'm coming at you with another diecast review and in this one i'm going to be taking a look at dale earnhardt jr's 2023 number three sun drop chevrolet camaro late model this is one of three late model cars that i got from sonoma last month and all three of them are from Dale Jr. Now, even though I don't watch this series since I don't know which station they're on, or maybe it's because I don't have it available to me, I have always wanted to get a late model diecast, whether if it was big or small. And I was not expecting to see these at Sonoma, and once I noticed that they were there, I could not pass up the opportunity to get the three ones that they had available. This one being among them. So yeah. Now, as you can see, the car has Sundrop on it. And Sundrop has been with Dale Jr. for a long time, dating back to the Bush series. And now they've carried over to his late to his late model career. And I heard that he extended partnership with the sponsors, so yeah. I don't think I've ever tried Sundrop before. I'll have to try it one, one of these days and see what it's like. So yeah. I heard there's a race version of this car, but it wasn't available at Sonoma when I was there. So... It is what it is, but I'm very grateful that I have this car, regardless. Now, with that said, um, let's get into the review, shall we? Now, let's start off with the tires. Unlike in NASCAR, instead of Goodyear, they use Hoosier tires. As you can see here, here, and on this side as well. So that's a really cool thing I noticed then, but I had to acknowledge now. Anyways, with that said, let's get into the review, take a look at the full car. Now, just like in the past, as far as late models are concerned, um, my same diecast format still stands. Anyways, um, starting off at the front here, as you can see, it is a Chevrolet Camaro, obviously. Got solid rock carriers. On the top of the front windshield, you got Sundrop on the hood. You got several contingency sponsors on the front here. If you look closely, I think that's a Junior Motorsports logo there. I think. Yeah, that's what I think it is. You got um, the bow tie here on the nose, and I think it says ZL1 there. And of course, you had the number three, obviously. Um, got number three on both sides of the car. You have it here on the roof as well. Um, you got a handful of contingency sponsors here on this side. Um, got the plastic window net. Um, got Dale Jr.'s name here on the roof on both sides. Um, on the B post here in the middle. Got some sponsors there. Um, what's it say? Oh, that's the Cars Late Model Tour um, logo for the series that this thing is based on. That's really cool. You also got Sundrop on both sides of the quarter panel. Um, and let's see. You also have it here on the deck lid and on the back as well. And you also have the number three back here as well. And if you look closely, the spoiler, it's about, let's see, um, well, you know, um, it's about, about the same height as you would see on a diecast for a stock car or stock truck of any kind. So it's a decent size. I'll envy that. And I think this thing right here is the exhaust. It's on this side, no. I think it's only on just this side only. And if you notice, there's no window here so I can 
partially stiff. Actually, here, let me take a toothpick and yeah, I can stick it in like that. Anyways, with that said, that's gonna do it for this die cast review. Um, there's a handful of other drivers like Chase Elliott and Carson Quaffle that, oh yeah, and Brendan Queen, they also sell late model die cast as well, both big and small scale. So get them while you can. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this die cast review. I wanna thank y'all for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And with that, I'll see y'all in the next video. All right, bye everyone. Peace out.